Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you a program called Mid Journey, which is an AI program that it can actually create images and it can also uh, take your photograph or your image and make images based off of that. And I think it's an interesting program to play around with uh, for any reason for fun to or to be creative. but. Uh, it also shows what AI can really do with imagery and uh, a lot of the editors or pretty much most of the major photo editors now use AI to do various tasks and so this kind of gives you an idea of the possibilities with AI even in just photo editing software uh, in the future and so it's an experimental program uh, you can access it by going to midjourney.com but you need a discord um, account first to use it. Discord is is a uh, voice and text uh, conferencing application. Uh, what I've done is I'm using Discord here and I set up a Discord server or channel and I invited the uh, Mid Journey bot to that channel so that I can communicate with it. So basically I send text commands to this channel, it sends it to the Mid Journey. Uh, server and then it processes depending on uh, what command I send it. So I'm going to do a quick uh, command where we're going to just create an image from text, a sim simple image from text, and then I'm going to show you how you can take a photograph or an image of your own and run it through this program and see what it does. So the way it works first off is uh, we type slash uh, imagine in space and it gives us a prompt. Now the prompt are, uh, uh, we put in the description of the image that we want and we put in uh, there are different switches that we can put in here and there's a uh, online manual of what the switches and such are but this is more or less just a quick demo um, so we're not going to go heavily into it but I'm going to put photo and then real and I'm going to put lake at sunset and then I'm going to use one switch on this which is AR which is for the aspect ratio by default the aspect ratio is square I'm going to use a 3 by 2 because that's kind of standard in photography so I'm going to hit enter and it's sent the command to the bot, the bot's reading it, and it's gonna respond. And you see it brings up this grid. And it's they, the, uh, the grid of four images starts out blurry and it starts to fill more and more detail in as it goes along. So, so you'll start to see it get clearer and clearer. That's gonna give us these examples. And what we can do is we can pick one of the examples and do what's called upscaling it to make it more detailed. Or we can take the examples or any of the examples and, and uh, actually tell it to do some variations off of those examples. So once it's done it gives us these uh, buttons down here. Uh, there's U1 through 4 and V1 through 4. The U is for upscale which means you know put more take this image which is really just kind of a a demo um, thumbnail image basically and uh, make it bigger and put, give it more detail or we can click on one of the V1 through 4 which will uh, give us variations so it will give us four more variations of any of the photos that we pick. Uh, so let's click on this and look at it a little bit bigger. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this one right here uh, and so it's one two three four so this is three so let's let's upscale three So you can see it's putting more detail into the image. So once it's done we can click on this. And you see we have uh, this image of a lake right here. And uh, sometimes it looks more real than others. It almost looks like a, a photo reel painting. Uh, but sometimes it looks very real. Sometimes it looks like an old picture so you can experiment with the different um, uh, 
text descriptions to try to get it to look more and more like a photo. Uh, but this is just a quick example. So, so you can see here it will create an image. And this is based on images that it has seen. Uh, sometimes it does get very stylized and you can purposely put text in to make it m more like a painting or more realistic. So now what I'm going to do is I want to take one of my own photographs and uh, run it through um, this program. Now to do that, um, I'm going to post a photograph and this this is a, is a uh, channel on, on my server, which is a general channel. It's all the server set up for is so that I can experiment with this program. So uh, what we I do is go to plus down here. I'm going to go upload file. And I'm going to pick a file. I'm going to pick this one right here. And I'm going to upload it. And so if I go to upload here and go to open original, I can copy this URL right here, which is the URL to the image now. And so if we go back to Discord, I can go in here and I can put, um, I can go imagine, and I'm gonna put this this uh, URL there. So we'll take this image uh, and it will uh, it will use this to base an image off of. So I'm not going to put any descriptors right now. I'm going to just see what it does by taking this image. I am going to put once again AR here so that it's in so that it's in um, 3 by 2 uh, aspect ratio. And then I'm going to hit enter And so it's taking that image and it's going to process it and it's going to give me f four examples of things that it, it will do with that image and taking elements of the image that I have right here. All right, so it's done some pretty wild things here. Here's, here's the grid that it's given us. And uh, so it's done some pretty wild things here. Uh, this it made totally uh, black and white, uh, and, and the rest are kind of color. And it's it's taken basically the arch theme and the in the uh, the uh, the the trees and the undergrowth and everything, and it's taken those and based images off it. So you can see that it's it's uh, pretty radically given us some different things based off this photograph, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to, uh, I, I could take any one of these and I could, uh, I could say, give me four more variations if I kind of liked it, but wanted to see some different stuff. Or I could hit this right here, which will kind of re-roll the whole thing. Or I could re just retype the command and I would get a different set of things each time. Uh, so, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one here, which is number three, and let's upscale it. So then it's adding in more detail and it's increasing the resolution in this uh, image. So while it's running that, let's look at the original photo real quick. This is the original image right here. And so once it's done processing, we'll look at what it's done with this. So this is, this is an old uh, railroad uh, bridge so there's actually tracks above this and, and there are these two arches uh, so if we go back all right so we have the finished photograph here and if we look at the full size you can see it's created this concrete structure out in the woods that's kind of based on the arches that were in that and it left the road in there and there was a road going to it so, and then it, it put in foliage and everything. So it's created this image based on elements from the image that we gave it. And uh, so it's kind of fun to mess with. You can mess with it for, uh, there's a certain amount of uh, images you can mess with for free if you set up an account. Uh, but after that, uh, there's, there's a monthly fee for it. Uh, but it's just something I thought was interesting to take a look at, uh, see what AI can actually do, uh, taking elements of a 
photograph and recombining them or even creating an image or a photograph uh, just from text. Uh, when you, if you take your images in, and run it through to see what it does, you can also actually put descriptions and tell it what you want it to do with it or add descriptions to the image and it will base the image off of the image that you put in there, but it will also base it off of what other adjectives and words and nouns that you put in with that. I'm Dean and this has been Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.